Welcome to Mass Guru Educational Services. If you are studying with us on Mass Guru channel for the first time or you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly do so. So you'll be informed anytime we upload a new video on this platform. Today we are going to discuss the course material at 821 Human Resources Management in Education. We're going to discuss the unit four of the third module and it's about job analysis job satisfaction and job performance we are strictly going to answer the questions that are related to this uh, very unit and we picked these questions from the previous examinations we have uh, the first question here what is job performance appraisal Identify three main benefits of performance appraisal. How does job satisfaction contribute and leads to increased performance? Okay, if we start right away to answer this question for the first one, what is job performance appraisal? Job performance appraisal is a system of measuring workers' output or productivity or efficiency, either qualitatively or quantitatively with the aim of according reward or forms of motivation. It is a method of accountability and corrections for improvement. First, we have um, job performance appraisal as uh, an activity conducted for the aim of according reward and then for motivating workers we have um, it as a method of accounting for the workers activity or workers role or duties and then giving corrections for improvements now we talk of um, benefits of performance appraisal number one it enhances productivity and efficiency number two it serves as a determiner for rewarding and motivating workers. Number three, it provides the basis of, for accountability and correction for improvement. You can see we have um, listed the three main benefits of performance appraisal. Other ones may be uh, formed from all these or uh, the effects of all these uh, benefits listed already then the part c of the question states how does job satisfaction contribute and leads to increased performance increased performance is a product of both external and self motivations job satisfaction is a function of organizational climate by organizational climates we mean individuals uh, attitude to work uh, workers attitudes to work or to organizational culture that is what we mean by organizational climates so the organizational climates ignite self-motivation in employees and uh, enhances their morale in performing their roles we mean the good organizational uh, climate when you have a sound attitude to activities performed in the organization or the way organization uh, an organization does uh, it seems so we talk of the enhancement of the morale for the performance of duties or roles we have similar questions here taken from 2014 examinations. What is job performance appraiser? I believe you can answer this. Uh, discuss the relevance of job performance appraisal in school. This can also be answered. All right, we move on. We have uh, other set of questions. Explain the term job description and job evaluation state four factors of job satisfaction we 
are going to talk about that now. Uh, what is the relationship between the concept of morale and motivation? That we're going to do in our next video. Explain three reasons for keeping staff record in school. Please subscribe and um, be tuned to the services here so you will know when we're going to post the videos related to some of these questions so let's quickly answer the ones that are related to the units now we have uh, the first question explain the term job description and uh, job evaluation job description is a written summary of tax duties and responsibilities of a job it provides information about the job opening so it is a written summary of the tax duties and responsibilities of a job and it provides information about the job opening jobs uh okay on the other hand let's quickly talk about um, job evaluation job evaluation is a constructive assessment of the activities or tax to be performed to ascertain the minimum qualification needed for the accomplishment of uh, such tax or in relation that to know that they are in relation to the set goal the aim or the objective of uh, such uh, tax it is a way of examining the duties and responsibilities of workers to ensure that they are in line with the organizational standard so you can define uh, job evaluation as a way of examining the duties and responsibilities of workers to ensure that they are in line with the organizational standard now the b section we have state four factors of job satisfaction in school okay job satisfaction can be seen as a state quality or level of contentment or behavior exhibited by a person in performing his tax duties or responsibilities in an organization so simply put it is a level of contentment employees feel with their job the level of contentment employees feel with their job is what we term job satisfaction talking of the four factors of job satisfaction we have uh, number one good pay good pay when there is a proper remuneration definitely the person will be satisfied with the work or with the job regular payment of salary if salaries are not delayed pay in time definitely the person will be motivated and will truly be satisfied attractive uh, fringe benefit these are like incentives given other than the, the main salaries of the workers then uh, we have uh, the fourth one conducive work environment if there is a conducive work environment definitely the person will be or the worker will be motivated will be satisfied with the job but if it is in the other way around not conducive then the person will be dissatisfied describe the concept of job performance appraisal we have stated something about that before just attempt the question yourself what are the inherent advantages of staff staff performance appraisal in an organization we have stated something like that before you can see that here the advantages and uh, the benefits it's still the same thing as the advantages so we have um, how does a principal ensure good human relations practice in a school please stay tuned we are going to 
uh, post a video on this as well from another unit anyway all right so we're going to answer the one that is related to this very discourse and that is the a roman numeral two section what are the inherent advantages of staff performance appraisal in an organization so we can list all that we have listed before it enhances productivity and efficiency it serves as a determiner for rewarding and motivating workers motivating staff this time around it provides the basis for accountability and corrections for improvement it can enhance relationships as each staff is able to understand the other better take note of all this these are four inherent advantages of staff performance appraisal in an organization explain the term promotion as applied okay this is not uh, related to what we're going to talk about here mention and discuss four criteria that will be considered in recommending this is not as well discuss four factors of job satisfaction in educational institution i believe you can discuss this we have treated this earlier quickly try yourself and see what you can provide four factors of job satisfaction okay good pay regular payment of salary attractive fringe benefits conducive work environments these are factors of job satisfaction the characteristics oh my god please ignore the the head in there is uh, a lift from other page now let's consider the 4b aspect explain the concept of job performance appraisal and then identify three main benefits of performance appraisal try this out to see what your performance will be and then backward your video again to where we discuss the benefits of job performance appraisal Thanks for studying with us. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. This will help us to serve you better.